Hello and welcome to Spurverse on what is quite a sad atmosphere, potentially. Yeah. I'm here with Craig Mitch as usual. Today we're going to be talking about the fact the title race is officially over. We'll also be talking about Eric Dyer becoming Brutus, Ryan Mason's miss in the Chelsea match, Chelsea being, you know, a na North naughty word. Uh, the race for second is on and Craig is worried. Uh, and Poch has signed a new contract with Boswell for the future. First of all, we've got to do this, haven't we? Fair play to Leicester. Fair play. You deserve it. You were the better team. You were better in the big games. Yep. Fair enough. Uh, but also, well done to Spurs. Come on, boy. Amazing, that's amazing it. season. I love you. You didn't win the title, but that's fine. It's not fine. We're proud. But we're proud of you. You've yeah. done amazingly. Yeah. And like magic, my card has reappeared somehow. Yeah. What a producer. <laughs> um, it's been an amazing season. Yeah. It has. It's been an it amazing has. season regardless. We certainly have never seen the title race in either of our no, lifetimes. No, never. And maybe we'll never see it again. I think we will, but, you know, no, we cannot we take it for granted. We w no, we will. We will see it again, but I'm so proud. There's been yeah. so many moments throughout the season that have just been so beautiful. I mean, we've won so many games by, like, three goals or more. It's ridiculous. We've had so many great goals. We've seen bromances form. Yeah. We've seen relationships, bonds appear, and it's just exactly. been a great season. And what's good is that currently the top two in the Premier League are easily just the two teams with the best team spirit. Yeah. Like they're just the two teams who are actually a team and yeah. not a group of individuals. And that's what football's about. It's, yeah. a, it's a team sport. I mean, if you want that solo stuff, watch boxing or tennis. It is all about working with your, your peers and your teammates. And that's what we've done this season. We've really created a good team atmosphere and bond. Exactly. Or you could watch UFC, which the match against Chelsea pretty much was. It, it was UFC. Uh, which brings me nicely on to oh, Eric Dyer. Once again. Eric Dyer uh, in the Chelsea match. Yes, he was. He was phenomenal. And I mean, man. he, he was great, and he but he was just he was put in challenges. The fact he stayed on the pitch was. was I mean, insane. he rode his luck, and he did it in in another London derby against Arsenal, where yeah. everyone said maybe he should have got a second yeah. yellow, and he went in, and he he just loves it, doesn't he? Well, against Chelsea, he should have got a third yellow, to be honest. But <laughs> but Clattenburg, I think he knew it was going to kick off even more than it had. Yeah, he was. Had he sent him off? It was the end of the game. He's experienced. He's experienced. He knows about He loves a red, games. though, Clattenburg. That's why it surprised me. But he just knew it was a fiery game. But it was too knew, feisty. He could not. Even before that, after what the Chelsea players had said, he just knew. He was warned that, you know, tempers were going to boil over. He knows the history of these sets of fans. And he, he did pretty well. Maybe I'm just saying that because it was our players that were on yellow cards and yeah. they all picked up a bit of yeah. Jerry Lee. But, you know, <laughs> it, it is what it is. Nine yellow cards, a record, I think. It is a record, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's since, a great record. There's some stat like since January, like loads of teams like Bournemouth, I think yeah. even Arsenal have only got eight yellow cards or something like that. Nine. We got nine in one that game. That is a record. That is even even <laughs> Son, the, even Son, the smiliest guy in the universe, I think. But up think of the card. think of the passion that shows. Think of yeah. how much we were well actually to be honest, it shows that you know, when you're not winning on FIFA and then you you just put in challenges to get the ball back. We were we were two minutes away from rage quit in that game. Yeah, it was almost a rage quit. Honestly, it was that bad. Spurs have disconnected. I just but you know what was annoying it? The fact that, you know, we was two nil up and some of the challenges were so cynical when you're two nil up. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, like the yeah, one yeah. that Mello made, it was almost two footed by the touchline. Yeah, that, I mean, Carl like Walker. it was. It did start to become when we were two 0 up. It did seem unnecessary. Yeah, it's it like, did seem why a are you bit doing weird. that when they you're two 0 up? Chelsea had clearly got in our heads a little bit as with like the pre-match build up and stuff like that, and then just like the way they were trying to f***ing manipulate yeah. us throughout the game. But they, they, it, they, look, we played into their hands before yeah. the game. They said things to get us riled up. Fabregas, Hazard. We fed right into it. It played into their hands. They got the goal, which was it was a scruffy goal. I mean, that's been our, our weakness, I think, this season. Conceding from a set piece uh, yeah. against West Ham, against West Brom. Set pieces, I'm you always a bit worried. I don't like to say this, but for both goals, Toby, where were you, mate? Yeah. That was yeah. his man from the corner. And Toby, it was Toby running out that let Hazard in. I know, but to be fair, no, I, I know thought he's Carl Walker's season, positioning was absolutely abysmal for that goal. What, the second goal? Yeah, I thought it was absolutely terrible, his positioning for that goal. But... The finish, you can't, you can't do anything. That it's finish one of the greatest worldy. finishes I've ever seen. It was that was an amazing finish, yeah, yeah. especially as it looked like it was going wide and over until the second it hit the net. To beat H Hugo Lloris from there, yeah. first time as well. And Hugo's just... dive was a waste of time. He was getting nowhere, nowhere near no, that. No, it was, it was literally postage stamped. It literally yeah. perfectly fitted in. That Congratulations, corner. Hazard, on your amazing 45-minute season. <laughs> um, do you think we're going to pick up any any bands as a result of the way we played last night? I think Dembele's in trouble. We've seen Dembele's it. probably. They're calling it an eye gouge, but. Seriously, it wasn't an eye gouge. It was more of like a face kind of scrape, yeah, rather than an eye gouge because he, he wasn't holding his eye in any capacity. Um, 
I don't think Carl Walker's going to get one for that tiny little kick. It was stupid. Nah, like, that's Walker the thing. It's nil-nil. Yeah. Why is Carl Walker doing that little afters? It's just stupid. Like, it was, there's loads of stupid things that happened. To be fair, is, yeah, was it sort of six or one thing, half a dozen the other, in that we were kind of trying to wind them up a bit as well? Or do you think that was as a result of us being wound up by... They didn't look wound them. up in the slightest. It looked they like... They were trying to get in our this heads was their and tactics. it worked. It's like Costa probably rallied up this meeting because he's done this to other teams, Arsenal yeah. and everything throughout the season. And he said, look, we need to play my way today. And they were all on board for it. I mean, look, Rose has got in for a strong challenge on Willian. We don't like Willian. He came and had a medical with us. He didn't come to us. They don't, you know, they don't like us. Yeah. They've had a little afters. They've pushed each other. Why is Poch running on the field? No, it's great that Poch is running on the field. I don't think he should have run on the field. I think it made it bigger than what it was. No, Honestly. but he knew, he knew Danny Rose is going to get sent off here. I don't know. I don't know going, if he would have, though. This has to stop. No, Danny I don't Rose. Know. It's like when Dele Alley was in that fight right where I sit at White yeah. Hart Lane and Pochran and grabbed him by the face and he didn't even realise for a second. And then he went, oh, yeah, okay. I, I see what you're down. saying. That's, that's maybe because Danny Rose is a hothead, without a doubt. Yeah. You know, he's from Leeds or whatever. But I, I, it's just, I just think Poch shouldn't have got involved. Honestly, I don't, it just made him look silly. It made him look like he was in the melee. Someone pushed him. I think who pushed him? Was it William that just shrugged him aside? Yeah, it just looked idiot. it just looked so sloppy. It looked like our manager wasn't in control. It looked like all our players lost composure. Disagree. It just didn't look good. It didn't Disagree. look good. From I a, love Poch getting in yeah, there. From, from I love our Poch point being of view. Part from of our it. point of view, yes, we love it. We love it. But you've got to look at it like if you it wasn't your team and you was watching it. No, As I think neutral, it would depend who the manager is. lost control. No, I think it depends on the circumstance who the manager is. If yeah. that's Mourinho, yes, I think he's lost control. But other people, if that was Ferguson or something, I'd think, great, this, this, that's great management. But Ferguson wouldn't do that. He's too much of a boss to even nah, get involved in that. He'd just sit there and chew his chewing gum like a mafia member. He hasn't got, like, I don't know, man. Just, mafia uh, member's famous for loving Wrigley's Extra. Mourinho <laughs> hit an assistant manager from another Twitter mix, told at Arsenal Real Madrid. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have been comfortable. I, I, I don't know, <laughs> no, man. Actually. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like I feel like we lost a bit of control there. The composure went out the window. We got nine yellow cards. Don't get me wrong. Some of the challenges I thought were fantastic, like Eric Dyer's challenge. I just I love that. But, but I mean, I mean the afters of just after what happened to Deli Ali, knowing that they're trying to be consistent yeah, with this yeah, retrospective yeah, yeah. action. It's just stupid. Is a lot of it was. But dumb. listen, we've been called soft for years, and we've never had anything, any kind of bite like that in a, in, a, in our team. Yeah. And finally, we've got it, and and we're getting. We're probably going to actually no. We're guaranteed our highest ever league finish, yeah. and potentially our highest ever points total. Mm. So doesn't that show you something? Yeah. That's what we were lacking. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. And I will say it's a good thing that Deli Ali was banned for that game. Oh, he would have been off in the he, first minute. I think genuinely he would have got probably a longer ban that yeah. carried into next season if he was involved in that game because he has no he would have bit someone. Oh, he would have he would have gone mad, but it would have been he great. Gone it would have been yeah. so special and it would have been vined uh, and shared all over the web. <laughs> um, okay, so Ryan Mason's miss. I know we. So, oh, so the players were angry on the pitch. You were very angry at Ryan Mason's miss. It was. It was. That first touch was criminal. It was criminal, that first touch. I'd say if that the falls ball, to pretty much anyone else in our team, that's a goal. Harry Kane has done. I believe it was Harry Kane. Yeah. Don't quote me on this. Was. But he's whipped it in. Amazing pass. To his feet. He has so much space. And the first touch has set it up so that it's just gone awkward. And then he had no left foot. Like, you had to take that on your left foot. And he just hit it with his right, just straight. It was just terrible. It was absolutely You've got to say, Lamella, Dembele, Kane, Eric. Anyone, anyone. Rose, Walker, it, anyone. Yeah. Th I'm not sure about Walker, but Vertonghen, yeah. even Lloris. <laughs> yeah, anyone. Lloris buried that. Anyone. I know. Yeah, it was, oh, God. It was so bad. And he scores that. It's 3-1 and the game is done. And for me, a lot of people might not agree with me, but that shows that next season, if we're going to go up a gear, our bench needs to be stronger. That's true. We don't have as need much to be depth stronger. as They're not we as need. good. We're but going I, into the Champions League, you know. But you think? Do you think we need to get rid of Mason? I, I don't know if, if "get rid" is the right word, but I, I think he needs to fall third or fourth in the pecking order. If, if yeah, we need someone stronger. Third or fourth in the pecking order on the bench. If we could bring in an Axel Witzel, and then we've, we've got Dembele, Dyer, and Axel Witzel to choose yeah. from, because he's, be he's just not—he's just not. He, he, like, look at the stats when Dembele doesn't play. I mean, f four of our losses, three of them he didn't play in, and, and that just shows. Mason came in for one of them, we lost against West Ham, and Carroll played the other two. It's not good enough. They're not yeah. good enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to build on it. But I will say the good thing is that whereas teams like Man City and Chelsea are going to really have to rebuild under the, their new managers, 
we've only got to fill in little bits of the puzzle. Yeah, we've got little gaps and stuff. Yeah, little yeah, bits. And, it's all and the, we can the take groundwork's several. been done, the foundations are there. Uh, do you find it interesting that uh, the Ryan Mason for one of our front three midfielders substitution is the exact same substitution that Poch made in the Arsenal match where we ended up drawing? Two wow. Well, there you go. You see what I mean? He said it when it happened. You see what I mean? He, oh, Why did he guess. do it? Why did he do it? Well, Why he had a lot take of players Son, on, yellow on the yellow Yeah, so. but I mean... Was Son definitely on a yellow card? I think he was. Was he? I think the only, the only player, outfield player not to get booked was Alderweireld. No, and Ericsson. Does Ericsson ever, ever lose his call? Yeah. Ever? <laughs> Ericsson did get booked. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, there you go. Good. That's it. The great Dane, so who I thought would never lo yeah. lose his call. Well, all the Belgians. We're talking about how chilled out the Belgians are all year, and then uh, only one of them, only one of them didn't get booked. It's, it's embarrassing. And then Bele went mad for the first time. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't like I just, it. I just, and Torres didn't get banned for when he did the exact same thing. Yeah, but they're trying to really crack down now, and they're so inconsistent. It's unreal. Like if Fellaini doesn't, we're not going to talk about Man United. I just think it's. I, I, I think we lost control. I think we lost composure, and we played into their hands. That's what they wanted. They wanted, they knew they, they, knew they couldn't be, Reece, they knew they couldn't beat us in a football match. Yeah, I know this that. Season. They knew they couldn't beat us in a football match. We were, we were leaps and bounds above them this season. I understand. And it was a mental game. That's I, the way it was. I understand that it does feel a bit like we fell for it. We but, did. But I like seeing that fire. I've never, I've never really seen that to that extent until yeah, this yeah, year. But and I do like that. That fire's good if we got come away it, with right? the three points. We've got to channel it well, and we will next season, but they're, okay. they're a young bunch of players. Yeah. They're just figuring it out. They've never been in that position before. Yeah. They only came at the expense of you know the title and, and uh, not beating Chelsea there for 26 years. Now 27 it's going to be. So yeah, yeah, you know. They only <sighs> yeah, came at did, that time to lose your composure anyway. I know, but to be honest, I, you know, Chelsea can claim that that's, that's them ending the title all they want. West Brom did that. Uh, which brings us on to our next point. Yes. Chelsea. And our thoughts about Chelsea. I mean, we've, I, I, honestly, I'm going to say this now. Your fans are the most pathetic bunch of individuals I have ever laid eyes on. Honestly. I was at the game. You're a disgrace. I heard racist chants. You're absolutely racist. I saw a pathetic banner. It was Rory, Chelsea fans channel. You can at him. He's, he's a disgrace to uh, mankind. Um, I, I heard a fan a couple seats away from me say that oh, all we need is a draw. No, Leicester needed a draw. You didn't need a draw. What were you talking about? Like, you're, you're a disgrace. Your fans are a disgrace. You're, I, just, I just hate them. I hate them. Yeah, and I want to say, Chelsea, you do not live vicariously through Leicester winning the league, OK? This is not your title. It has you nothing don't. to do with you. All that happened is you had a terrible season. You saw an opportunity to be involved in some sort of fairy tale, as it's called, to be involved in a story at the last minute. And then, like John Terry in the Champions League final, well, you're all suddenly putting on your Leicester kits and going to collect a medal you did not earn and do not deserve. Your season is not like Leicester's. It is not one of glory and pride That's and it, success. Go it on. is one Go on, of Reece. failure yes. and misery and Go embarrassment on, lose it. and scandal. That's it. That's it. That is what your That's season it. is. It's pathetic. You've arrived. And player of the year, getting the ball, running to the corner flag He's at the end. It. How f***ing pathetic is that? Unbelievable. You're in a goal scoring position, Willian. Yes. Hit the ball. Do you not want to win the game? No. Pathet I know you're only playing for ninth, but still, Go show on. some f***ing passion. That's just, it. He's just swore. ending Spurs' season being the only thing you've got to play for. It is unbelievable. It's absolutely pathetic. You're a disgrace. All your fans, you're a waste of time. I hate all of you. Feels good, doesn't Especially it? Especially Rory. Feels good when you blow it. Just, just blow that steam on Spurs. Yeah. So I've been doing it all season, mate. Thank you just, for and the pr their pre-match build-up, Hazard, <sighs> Hazard, you can go f*** yourself, mate. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Sick of it. I'm sick of it. UKIP. That's who they are. UKIP. John Farage, Nigel Terry. I'm on to you. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. Got it from John Farage. Um, <laughs> we're in the race for second. Well, do you know Sorry, what? Sorry, I'm a bit, I'm a bit exhausted. Yeah, 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 it does take a lot out of you. Um, <laughs> I'm worried. I'm I very know you worried. Are. I know and you the are, reason yeah. I'm worried is because we've bottled two leads back to back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, I suppose. And, and, we, we did bottle. No, we bottled two leads. Not, we didn't bottle the league. We, we need to stop saying that because we were never top. But we bottled two leads. Against West Brom, we were 1 0 up and 2 0 up against Chelsea away. So my whole feeling now is we're at home. We know seconds on the line. Yeah. We've got this weird history with Arsenal where when it's crunch time, unfortunately, it doesn't really. Yeah, and we're not Wenger, have we're a not Wenger has this record of just finishing above us. I'm worried. And Southampton, I mean, we, we took out of the road from them. This would be a perfect opportunity. I mean, it just feels like we've got a lot. Levy, you've made a lot of enemies out there. West Brom obviously had a reason yeah. to, to end our season. Jeremy Peace and all of that. And now Southampton, after taking out of the road, they hate our guts. 
Do they? Yeah, yeah. They don't like us. Because we, we took their manager and, and our yeah. girl. So it would it would make them so happy to kind of... And they just beat City 4-2. And they're playing well. Why is this happening to us? Why the f*** is this happening to us? What did I do to deserve this? I pay taxes. I give my mum a hug every morning, okay? When she makes my breakfast, I hug her But before I... Yes, I still live at home and I'm 26. What the f*** did I do to deserve this? I'm a good human being. I don't do anything wrong. All right, I give occasional stick on the web. So what? <laughs> so what? Okay, in real life, in reality, off of online, I'm a very nice person. Okay, and I don't deserve this shit. 26 years of this pain. 20 years of finishing below Arsenal. Oh, right, sorry. So you have brought it back to being about football. Oh, this. Finally. this isn't fair. And if we don't finish second, I'm done. I'm done. I'm moving to LA, which like I planned, and I'm supporting the Lakers. I'm done with football if we finish if we don't finish second. I'm done. I'm so done. Okay, so good to see that this is Spurvert slash therapy for both of us. Done. Uh, so, right. So you do believe? So you think Arsenal can beat City? They, no, they can definitely beat City. They can do it, but will they do it is the question. City are not good this season. They're thinking about next season already. But what would it say? What would it say if Arsenal end up finishing second with the biggest Wenger out campaign we've ever seen in our forget, lives? Forget them, okay? We can't focus on them, okay? What will it say about us? Our best season ever, ever, in my lifetime, and yeah, we still can't yeah, finish yeah, above yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is criminal on every... It, it's so criminal. That, they're seeing this as a very bad season. We're seeing this as a phenomenal season. We have to finish above them. That's that. That is that. Well, There's no dancing around it. That is that. Forget yet. their wing around. Yeah, we have to win. If we don't win, then it's, it's dangerous because they're going to beat Villa. They are going to beat Villa and Newcastle are going to put up a fight on the last day of the season. And we but haven't beat Newcastle this season. Yeah, but I think we can beat Southampton. Let's see. Hopefully. I hope you're right and I want to, but you know, I'm not confident at this point in time. I mean, we won't yeah. have Dembele. We've seen the stats without Dembele. Yeah. Alderweireld looks injured. Yeah. It's not good. It's not good. Put it that way. Well, we'll end on some good news. Potch has signed a new contract. Oh, yeah. That is very good news. He's extended his contract. Thank God for that. Till 2021. We want Potch to stay yeah. on. He did a big speech about how, why would I leave? I've got this great group of players. We're building a legacy. Yeah, so sign the contract. Yeah, I mean, I'm not Potch, but yeah. yeah, but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm saying it to him. Sign the contract. Yeah, sure yes, watching. great. Yeah, all this, saying all this is great. Sign the contract. Don't do all of this. Oh, yeah, my lawyer. No, sign the contract, mate. Well, it looks like he's going to sign the contract. He was a bit busy, mate. Mate, just sign the contract. He's been a bit, he's got a lot on. Oh, yeah, you know. It's 24 hours in a day. Sign the contract. <laughs> All right? You're at the training ground. You're chilling there in your office on training day. Sign the contract. Stop he was time. training our players up in their boxing oh, for, skills. for three hours a day. What about the rest of the day, Reese? When he's just there at Hotspur Way. Sign the contract. He's preoccupied mentally. He can't think about the deal yet. Sign the contract. He's thinking about how to Get lay out all the Chelsea players. Yeah, fair enough. Sign the contract. That's what I'll say about that. When he signed it, then I'll, I'll be celebrating. Just couldn't let me be the angry one, could you? Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you for watching. This is Spurverts. I'm looking forward to these comments on this video. Call us salty all you want, whatever the hell that means. Yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to let us know your thoughts. Do you think Dembele is going to be banned? We might already know this by the time the video is out. Uh, do you think we sh all the players should be banned? Who knows? Uh, I was. Are you, do you agree with me or Craig? I was kind of pleased with the fire of the players. Craig thought we'd lost our minds a little bit. Um, do you think we're going to get second? Are you concerned like Craig is about the race for second? I am a bit as well, but I thought I'd let him take the reins on that one. And uh, are you making demands of Posh to sign? his contract in the freaky way that Craig is. Uh, make sure to drop the video a like if you liked it. Also, if you didn't, it helps us. Uh, and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and we will see you next time. Hi guys, Barnby for Spurred On. I'm down the road from Stamford Bridge. We couldn't get any fan cams or do anything around there. It's just full of partying Chelsea fans. The dream is over.